All right, guys and ladies, that includes ladies. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the second of three sets of picks from Southern Specialties. This one, here's the information on it, is a BDLPH 10E. The E stands for the Euro Profile. This is one of the first times we've had a chance to take a look at one of those. And before we do that, I need to do some cleaning out around here. We got a little bit behind on giving stuff away. So the first thing is going to be this Yeti 10 pin Euro cylinder, actually half Euro cylinder that I picked uh, a couple, three days ago. There were a little over 1,000 people looking for it and Metalloid X, you are the lucky one. You're going to be fighting this thing. And you had a question that I saw several people ask and wanted to know the name of that, that banjo sounding music uh, uh, when I played their sped up. Well. If you look in the description, you'll find it. It's, uh, it's royalty-free music. If you go to this website, they've got a bunch of royalty-free stuff. But the name of that particular song is called The Funny Song. So go there, grab it, and uh, you can listen to it while you work on your Yeti lock. All right, the second thing. Let me move this back. Um, what do we got here? We had a master lock. It was rekeyable. This one came from the lock butcher. I picked it. I repinned it. And then I picked it again. It took me 27 minutes. So this is the master lock to have. Um, looks like there were 1,400 people. And let's see, Tallow Hawk X111. You got it, buddy. And uh, a master lock that's worth having. Uh, I must be dreaming. Yeah. Not anymore. This is truly a master lock to be having. All right, the last item. And I know one you guys have all been waiting for. The Sparrows Night School. Totally awesome. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. Um, there were 4,600 of you, almost 4,700 people who thought they'd like to have this. And the lucky one is Morph VR6. Sparrows is always leading the way in quality kits. Sweet! And it is truly a sweet, sweet kit. Morph, you're going to love it. If you guys will PM your addresses, I'll get this stuff in the mail to you. In the meantime, let's take a little break. I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of this case so we can get a really good look and take some measurements on these picks. All right, let's take a good look at this Southern Specialties BDLPH 10E. You notice we got uh, eight picks and two tensor wrenches, total of 10 pieces, hence the 10E. E, of course, standing for Euro Profile. This is a $39.95 kit plus shipping, so call it 40 bucks. It is made from 21 thousandths uh, carbon spring steel. It's called 1074 carbon spring steel. It is not stainless steel. Um, and then you've got these nice laminated handles. I've got to say, I've picked a lock with them. They're not bad. Everything's rounded off, no sharp edges. If you take a close look at the picks, they are going to need a little bit of work. In fact, these are blackened, and I was a little bit worried about that finish, about how durable it was, and I decided to go ahead. This, by the way, is a DeForest half ball. Good little pick for high lift. I went ahead and polished up the hook. This is a standard hook or short hook, and I got it all except right there near the end. This literally is about two minutes with 1,000 grit sandpaper, so they clean up really nice. They shine up very nice. All the edges come off. I did notice that this carbon... Uh, spring steel is a little bit softer uh, than, um, than stainless steel, so when you do the sanding, just be a little bit careful. The material does remove just a little bit faster. Um, we get a DeForest diamond. Now, this is interesting because this is a good chance to point out the difference between Euro profile and standard profile. So on the top, you see the, the height of the shaft of the pick. That's a standard height. And on the bottom, of course, we have the Euro. Much slimmer. It's going to fit into your keyways just a lot easier than, than that one on the top. Just give you a little bit more room to work to uh, navigate around those pins. DeForest Diamond. The next we get an interesting pick. This is a, and again, I'll use the backing because this little thing is a little bit difficult to see. This is called a lifter pick. And you don't often see these. This one is very well done. You notice on the bottom there's a little tit down here. That, that's not a defect. That's, that's the way lifter picks are supposed to be manufactured. That lifter pick is kind of a heel so that when you put it into the, the uh, keyway you balance off of that and it gives you a little bit better lift. And if you take a good look at that tip, see if I can get the camera to cooperate, you see a little notch there. 
and that's to help you very precisely place the point of the key pin in there before you begin lifting it. So pretty handy little pick. Again, you don't see those real often. Uh, this is a half diamond. Good shape on it, nice thin shaft. Uh, we got a number of hooks here. We have a single peak hook. So a good raker. This is a little bit higher lift than you'd get with the half diamond. You get an L rake or your city rake. And again, look very closely at these. This is very nicely done. No part punch marks, no remnants, no flashing, no punch. It just it, they did a pretty good job, I gotta say. And then this one is again our favorite pick, the triple peak. Again, very nicely done, very well shaped, tumbled, no sharp edges on any of these things. Uh, the pick case itself, I know we don't make a big deal, but this one is well. The thread choice for one, you kind of wonder why. If you got red tennis shoes, this will match your ensemble perfectly. Um, inside we got double stitching at exactly the right places, but it's just a plastic case. Nothing too spectacular about this. Um, let's look at the goods. Um, I really like these handles. They are triple spot welded. They're not going to be coming loose. It, to handle them for long periods of time, it's not going to put a mark in the top of your finger. That's my cat wound, still not healing. Um, I like the Euro profiles. They're kind of hard to find. Very thin shaft that you get up inside of those Euro locks. Very tight paracentric keyways. I really like the fact that they're 21 thousandths of an inch, which gives you that much more flexibility to get into locks. And I like the fact they gave us a Bogota. Finally, a kit that throws in a Bogota. I just, it's a great pick. You're, you guys, if you're beginners, you're going to love that. Even advanced and intermediate, we like to use that pick. Um, there's some not so good stuff. I hate to call it bad, but the fact that it's 1074 carbon spring steel and not stainless steel, at this price point, 40 bucks, I would have expected a little higher quality steel. They did it because it's cheaper, it's easier to work with, easier to machine, easier to punch. I understand, but 40 bucks is 40 bucks. And then the last thing, the case. I mean, we don't make a big deal, but this case is crap. This is, it's a piece of plastic with some red thread in it. Not... It'll hold your stuff, but at this price point, most of the other pick makers are giving us leather. The tension tools. We've got a Z tool here. Um, both of these are exactly the same width, which is what I call the medium windshield wiper width. They're not even tapered. Uh, this one's identical. I don't know why they didn't taper at least one end on the Z, and this makes not a lot of sense, but these two will fit most all locks, but if you come across a narrower keyway or something, you're going to be struggling to find a way to tension it. Anyway, there you go. This is um, a, the Southern Specialties BDLPH10E. If you'd like to have it, I'd be happy to give it to you. It's a good kit, maybe not a beginner kit, because it's, uh, it is Euro profile and the picks are just a little bit fragile, but that all of them are. It's not just this kit. But if you'd like to have it, send in a comment. 20, 24 hours from now, the computer will randomly pick a name, and I will send this anywhere on the planet Earth. All right, let's talk about a little bit what's coming up. Uh, a lot of questions about this. So I do have a Southern Specialties Black Diamond kit by the same company. Uh, coming up, I have a Sparrows Creeper set. Very cool kit. I've taken a look at that. I have a Peterson Breacher kit, which is the same kit uh, the U.S. military uses for breaching teams. I've got a Sparrows Vorax with the new Sandman pick in it. Can't wait to give that a shot. Um, I've got a Southord Pocket Pen. I've got two spinners to show you guys how to use spinners, uh, lock spinners or core spinners. And then last, I've got a uh, another Serapic Pocket Tool to take a look at. So there you go, fellas. Something to look forward to. Stay safe. Stay legal.